Beside me is the ASUS ProArt PA32DC. It's a 32-inch 4K OLED monitor. While this certainly lives up to the fact that OLED monitors rarely ever come cheap, being one of the most premium offerings in the ProArt line, this does come with a few unique benefits. And that's not a webcam, by the way. But we were talking about benefits, like this shipping with two stand options as standard. You've got your typical desktop monitor stand which can pivot, tilt, go vertical and is height adjustable, but it also comes with a pair of metal feet. That's what I like to call it. Asus calls it the mini stand, which doesn't sound nearly as cute as my name for it. But these mini feet allow you to use the PA32DC in a more portable configuration. Now, bear in mind, we are talking about a 32 inch monitor here. So calling it portable is going to be a bit contextual. But the context here is if you need a 4K color accurate monitor this size for field work, then they've at least made it easier to bring this out to a DIT cart on a film set, for example. You can rotate the little feet sideways so it's easier to pack and transport the monitor. This is also one of the only monitors I've seen, aside from dedicated production monitors, which have metal handles built into it. This simple addition makes a world of difference when trying to move this thing around. Your IOs are located on either sides of the monitor, which are considerably easier to access compared to traditional PC monitors, where all the ports are usually tucked beneath. You've got three options for input, good old HDMI, DisplayPort, and USB Type-C. This also ships with a hood, a very sturdy felt-lined hood, which helps at blocking stray light from hitting your screen. But of course, most of what you're paying for is the quality of the OLED panel itself. This is a 60 Hz UHD panel using the striped RGB subpixel layout. It's also a true 10-bit monitor, that's 10 bits per channel, for any sort of pro content creation workflow. A 10-bit mastering monitor is pretty much a basic requirement. Even among consumer content creation workflows, 10-bit is becoming increasingly common. In terms of gamut, this covers 99% of DCI-P3, so obviously sRGB is not even going to be a problem. When it comes to Rec 2020, it's got 80% coverage. HDR peak brightness is rated at 500 nits for a 10% patch, and sustained brightness is 250 nits. Couple that with the fact that it's OLED means it does fulfill the Display HDR 400 True Black certification. There are more impressive pro art models in terms of HDR performance, like the PA32 UCG I reviewed some time ago. I would take that over this if you're looking specifically for an HDR workhorse. But this PA32DC does still support HDR formats like HDR10, HLG, and even Dolby Vision. Again, returning to the fact that you are looking at an OLED panel, you can expect nothing less than absolutely incredible contrast. The response time of this panel is also remarkably excellent. The specs claim 0.1 milliseconds, and scrutinizing it in slow motion, I can see no blurring and no ghosting at all. It's truly excellent in this regard. Now, what's really special about this product is how it's a color accurate monitor that keeps itself accurate over time by having a motorized calibrator built right into its top bezel. It's ridiculously convenient when you can have your monitor set up to routinely run calibrations on its own. And depending on how many reference profiles you want to calibrate it for, the calibration process can run for quite a while up to 45 minutes from my experience if you're calibrating every single profile available. So it's nice to have it scheduled to run itself after hours. But to prevent the monitor from rudely excusing itself for a calibration session while you're in the middle of using it, it will prompt you one minute in advance with the option to cancel the upcoming calibration. Having the calibration hardware built in also means guaranteed compatibility with your panel, and not just in terms of spec, but for example, if you have the hood attached to the monitor, it's been designed to not hinder the motorized movement of the calibrator. But my favorite thing about this whole setup is how the calibration data is stored and applied on the monitor itself. No worrying about ICC profiles, not having to install any additional software. You don't lose the calibration when you switch devices. This is particularly useful if you're using it to monitor a live feed from a camera, for instance. As a bit of a bonus for this sort of use case, the monitor's also got these quick fit overlays built in that could prove resourceful for image monitoring. Most OLED displays would also have an auto brightness limiter or ABL built in. That might be annoying for some, but straight up problematic for professional monitoring. This monitor has it as well, but designed for professionals in mind, you have the option to turn it off. 
Enabling the constant brightness mode will limit the brightness to 250 nits, but it will maintain that brightness regardless of how much white you're displaying. Another tricky thing about owning OLED monitors as well is being careful to avoid burn-in. If you look closely, you'll notice this cutout beside the power button that isn't quite a button. This is a proximity sensor that works better than any screensaver. When that sensor notices you're no longer in front of the monitor, it will dim the monitor in stages, eventually blacking out the whole thing. When it sees that you're back, it pops back to life. I tried to challenge this mechanism by sitting as still as I can in front of the screen because I was wondering if it will shut itself off while I'm looking at it, and I couldn't get that to happen. This function can be completely disabled, however. It's also got some more traditional protection measures against burn-in, like pixel shifting. But on this monitor, it's done in a much more graceful way, because there's actually a perimeter of extra pixels to facilitate this. This means even though pixel shift is active, every single pixel that's meant to be displayed is still completely visible without omission. So these are the sort of features that set the PA32DC apart as the flagship OLED display among ProArts lineup. Beyond just a nice big 4K screen to look at, it's a monitor that's able to maintain its own accuracy as well as passively protect your expensive investments from burn-in. It's essentially a high-end display that can look after itself. Just too bad it can't pay for itself. Or maybe it can, if you use it correctly.